Are you exploring life coaching as a possible career path? Or are you already a certified life coach and you're wondering how to identify your ideal client? Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey. I'm the author of two best-selling books, No Less Than Greatness, and Building Your Field of Dreams, which became a PBS special. I'm also the founder of Life Mastery Institute, which is the world's premier training and certification center for heart-centered transformational life coaching. I've been working in the coaching industry in one way or another for the last 35 years. And I know some things about how to have and generate ideal clients. So here are four criteria that I recommend you look for when you're identifying an ideal client. First of all, just the fact that they're breathing does not make them an ideal client. You have, at the end of the day, only 24 hours in a day, and the work you're doing matters. So as you're building a coaching business, and since you have the power to generate the kind of clients that you can really bring maximum impact to and can have maximum impact in their lives, then it's important that you have an, in your mind real clear ideas about who it is that you would really love to work with. Now, you may be coaching in a particular niche or you may have a wide open door to the kind of professional clients that you work with or personal clients that you work with. But I'm going to suggest that an ideal client has three things that really matter and a fourth thing that I'm going to add in that I believe also really matters in having an ideal client. Number one, you want someone who is heart-based, someone who is open-minded to transformation. As a coach, you're not a therapist. You're not here to go rehearse all the pain they've had in their life and tell over and over again the stories of why it didn't work and how much hurt they got and just carry this great big bag of problem as they try to go forward, really tethered by the stories of the past. That's not what a coach does. So you want someone who is open to growth, someone who is heart-based, someone who is ready to grow. Number two, you want someone who either has or wants to have a dream. Someone who has a vision, they have a goal, they have something they want to bring forth, they want to have that love of their life. They want to heal uh, the broken relationship with their children's father so that the children are no longer the, the um, victims of the battlefield the parents have been in for years since they've been divorced. They want to have a new life in the, uh, for themselves. They want to grow their business. They want to have a retirement that gives them life. You want someone who has or is willing to have a dream. And number three, you want someone who is actually willing to be coached. You want someone who is willing to be coached because you can be the best coach in the world, but if you have a client who isn't willing to be coached, it's not only frustrating for you, it actually becomes extremely frustrating also for the client. So you want someone who is heart-based, they have or are willing to have a dream, they're willing to be coached, and number four, very important, they're willing to invest in themselves for the result they say they want by investing in a coaching program with you. Now, why do I say they're investing in themselves? They're investing in themselves in a coaching program with you, but the investment is really in themselves. Think about it this way. You know, I fly a lot for the speaking engagements and the work I do in the world. When I give United Airlines money, I don't really want United Airlines. I want where I want where United Airlines is gonna take me. So I give United Airlines some money, but what I want is to move from Los Angeles to New York City or to Atlanta or some other place I'm heading. And it's the same thing for your client. They have a current life and they have a life they would love to have and there's a gap between where they are and where they wanna be. Your coaching program becomes the jet by which they move from one set of results to another set of results. So you want clients who are willing to invest in themselves for the result they say they want by investing in a coaching program with you. Now I'm gonna suggest that if you want clients like that in your life, then be the kind of client you want to attract. You want to be somebody who's open-minded. You want to be somebody who has a vision. You want to be someone who is growth-minded. You want to be someone who is investing in yourself in the interest of growth for the things that matter to you. Therefore, in the 40 years I've been studying, in the 35 years I've been working in the field of transformation with clients all over the world, I have continued to stay in programs myself. I continue to work with mentors and guides and mentor other people. The most successful coach, the common thread is, first of all, every single person wants more life. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it. And you'll, somebody will come to mind that you know this can matter to, or you'll share it with one of your lists. 
But for more step-by-step -step tools, for proven strategies and how to start or grow a successful life coaching business, a business that actually makes a profound and lasting difference in the lives of others, a business that allows you to earn an abundant income, actually working from anywhere that you choose, then click on the link below and download a gift that I have for you. It's a free ebook, which is titled, Are You Meant to Be a Life Coach?